All right. So I sit on this AI advisory board uh, out of the University of Colorado, where all we do is talk about AI from different industries. And I think one of the biggest things that come up in these sessions uh, that I'm a part of, uh, especially from business owners, is this idea of how do I cut costs, right? So most business owners, their largest expense on their profit and loss statement is salary. Mm -hmm. So they're always looking at ways to cut that. And some of the folks that I believe are short-sighted look there first to make cuts, right? Hey, can I replace people? Um, and the problem with that, that I find on this advisory board specifically, is that that creates potential coups with the employees, right? Because they're like, well, you replace, I mean, some, you know, some back office jobs may be removed, but I know it's a net positive for the most part, what I read, where anything that's replaced or anything that's uh, deprecated will be replaced with new roles. But really what comes out of most of the discussions we have is a, a desire to focus on efficiencies of the current team and maximizing that versus replacing or deprecating positions. I'm curious to know, what are your thoughts about that? That's very consistent with the approach that the with the approach that essentially all of our clients yeah. are taking is that makes sense. is that is that it's looking to increase the increase the efficiency of knowledge workers. And that's the number one use mm -hmm. case currently for AI is again, back to the concept of like supercharging your employees so they can get not only get more things done, but produce better results and spend more of their time doing the things that they're really, really good at. Right. So, you know, most knowledge-based employees are working 40 to 50 hours a week in most cases. Those 40 to 50 hours has a very defined amount of resource, brain resource that can be put to company tasks. What if you can turn, what, what if you can get a 30, 40, 50% increase on that by removing some of these rudimentary tasks and getting more high level output from each of your each of your team members what does that mean that increases the bottom line that that and certainly is the concept is that the yeah. idea is yeah, that, i mean that's what i'm hearing from you and that's what i'm hearing from the ecosystem that's that's exactly the concept is uh -huh. is doing that in in terms of the concern from like an economic overall economic standpoint of um of jobs being taken away by ai there have been a bunch of large organizations uh one is the World Economic Forum's future jobs report, mm -hmm. which did estimate that by 2025, there may be up to 87, uh, 85 million jobs replaced mm -hmm. uh, by AI, but that those will open up opportunities for at least 97 million new jobs related to it. So, so it's a net the, positive. Yeah, so the consensus is that it's a net yeah. positive from a job creation perspective. Right, 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 right. And those jobs are supercharged. That's the takeaway. 